Hello and welcome back here at Coastal Legacy. My name is Michael and today I'm talking about my top 10 bucket list roller coasters in Germany. Germany, the country which I call home, is also the country in which I currently have ridden the most coasters, with over 140. And I can gladly say that I got the chance to already check off almost every big German credit from my bucket list, like Schwulderskernan at Hansapark or Fly at Phantasialand. However, there are still quite a few I am looking forward to experience, whether it is a rare ride model, one of the best of its kind or a coaster that has a bad reputation and I want to see if it's justiceable. Since I don't count rail zip lines as credits and I wanted to just include currently operating coasters, you won't see any of those on here. But I still want to give a quick shout out to coasters that are either confirmed or rumored of opening in the next few years, which have potential to make it on this list. Starting off this list with number 10, Naturbobbahn at Kienberg Park. An alpine coaster made by the Austrian manufacturer Stahl Hacksteiner Metall GmbH, which is located in the heart of Berlin city. With its total length of 2624 feet or 800 meters, the in 2017 opened alpine coaster is definitely on the shorter side. And the layout also doesn't look too exciting. But what this coaster has to get on this list is a big uniqueness factor, since there is currently only one other installation by this manufacturer, which is located in Zams, Austria. Coming in at number 9, Sommerrudelbahn at Sommerrudelbahn Erbeskopf. The next coaster on this list is also an alpine coaster, but this time it is one of the last ones manufactured by Brandauer slash Sunkit that I need to ride in Germany. The 4429 feet or 1350 meter long layout is filled with many large swooping turns and some steep dips. It also looks like you can build up some pretty decent speed in the first half, which always adds to the experience. Will it be my new favorite alpine coaster? Definitely not. Are those single rail alpine coasters still always great fun? Heck yeah! Number 8. Hexenwiesen at Ski und Rodel Arena Wasserkuppe. This is a suspended family coaster manufactured by the German company Wiegand and also one of the few lost cars you'll see on here. Back in August of 2020 I visited this location with the intention to ride both the Alpine coaster and this relatively rare Hexenwiesen model. But because of the rainy weather only the Alpine coaster was operating. However, I still got the chance to already try a coaster of this type with Boderit at Erlebniswelt Selbantale, which was good fun, especially in some course where it really started swinging. On the seventh spot is Flying Tiger at Safariland Stukenbrock, one of the oldest still operating coasters by Vekoma. This whirlwind model opened back in 1981 and traverses two corkscrews on the 1148 feet or 350 meter long layout. The Dutch company has come such a long way and especially in the last two decades they were really stepping up their game. Yet I think it's still really important to acknowledge the long history of this manufacturer. Although this ride still features the original over the shoulder restraints, I can't wait to ride one of Germany's first inverting coasters nevertheless. Another lost count of mine is located at number 6 on this list. Moselbob at Freizeitsee Trio Lago. 
Moselbob is a first generation Alpine coaster from Wiegand and is located in a popular wine region near the Mosel River. I have been near this region multiple times but never stopped by until last year. When I sadly couldn't ride it out of time or circumstances and because it wasn't possible to pay by card and I didn't have any cash with me. In my opinion the layout looks like one of the best for an alpine coaster and the only thing that holds this coaster back on here is that it doesn't feature the most stunning views. Coming in at number 5 is Alpine Coaster at Kolbensattel. This coaster doesn't have the most interesting layout, but therefore it is one of the longest roller coasters in the world, with a downhill track length of 8070 feet or 2460 meters, and it features stunning views over the nearby valleys and mountains. Other than most of the Alpine coasters that are located in South Germany as well as in Austria, this one isn't operating in the winter months. But I'm definitely trying to check this one off my list this year because it isn't located too far away from where I am currently living. Number 4. Achterbahn at Ferienzentrum Schloss Duncan. This tube coaster by the Swiss manufacturer ABC Rides opened in 2018 and is one of only three currently operating coasters of its kind. The ride is located in the biggest holiday camp in Germany, which is nearby the Dutch border, right in between the German cities Bielefeld and Bremen. It doesn't feature the extensive theming of the other German tube coaster K2 at Karls Erlebnisdorf Elstal, but I think it still would be a great family coaster and it gets me one step closer to manufacturer completion. Arguably the biggest thrill coaster on here sits at the number 3 spot, Huracan at Belantis. The custom Gerslauer Eurofighter that features a varied and unconventional layout is known for its bad reputation, as it gets claimed to be pretty rough. However, I never had problems with any Gerslauer Eurofighter, because it's pretty easy for me to avoid headbanging with the typical restraints, which ensures that I can fully enjoy the layout. The coaster is so high on this list because I really want to see if it's actually bad and the bad reputation is justified or if it just was exaggerated by the people who have written it. Coming in at the number 2 spot is the newest coaster on this list, Gravitrax at Ravensburger Spieleland. In particular I am referring to the hamster wheel of this SBF Visa Big Air coaster. This coaster which opened in June of 2021 is located in a small family park which is owned by the popular games and puzzle company Ravensburger. The ride features three cars that are the common SBF Visa spinning cars and two of the hamster wheel ones. I think it won't be the most enjoyable experience but it still made it so high on this list because of the unique riding experience. And claiming the number one spot is Alpsi Coaster at Alpsi Bergwelt. This vegan alpine coaster is the longest roller coaster in Germany with a total downhill track length of 8858 feet or 2700 meters. And it looks to be a plus if you don't have any breakers in front of you. That's the reason why I didn't ride this alpine when I was there. Because there was a wait of over one hour just to get into the gondola that takes you to the top and then you have the queue again at the top to ride the alpine coaster. Just to get a bad experience because you have to constantly break for more than half of the layout. I can't wait to ride this coaster in the near future, but I will definitely try to be the first one of the day, just like I did at Hasenhorn Coaster, which can proudly claim its spot as one of my favorite alpine coasters. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this content. Now let me know your top bucket list courses in Germany down in the comments. Feel free to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss one of my upcoming videos. See you in the next one.